Welcome everyone. Today I will discuss the general method of solution of a first order difference equation. In the last class I have discussed how to solve a first order difference equation with the help of iterative method of solution. Let us recall some points of the previous class. In the previous class we have solved a equation y t plus 1 is equal to 0.7 yt and by following the iterative method of solution we get yt is equal to 0.7 to the power t y0 uh, today let us take a similar kind of equation but in general form let us take the equation uh, m y t plus 1 minus n y t is equal to 0 uh, which can be written as m y t plus 1 is equal to n y t again we can write this equation as y t plus 1 is equal to n by m y t uh, this equation is uh, very similar to this equation so if we follow iterative method of solution to this equation then the general solution will be yt is equal to y0 into n by m whole to the power t okay then we assume y0 is equal to a and n by m is equal to b we can write the solution as yt is equal to a b t we will have to recall this solution while dealing with the general solution of a first order difference equation okay let us discuss the general method of solution of a first order difference equation we assume a standard form of a first order difference equation y t plus 1 plus a y t is equal to c and we numbering the equation as 1 so this equation have two solutions uh, one is complementary solution and another is particular solution and the complementary solution is the solution of the equation when we take this c is equal to 0 now if we apply iterative method of solution to this equation then the solution will be y t is equal to a b to the power t as i have showed you a few minutes back now uh, substituting equation 3 in equation number 2 we get a b to the power t plus 1 plus a b to the power t is equal to 0 we just substituting the value of y t in equation number 2 now by taking a b to the power t as common we get a b to the power t whole into b plus a is equal to 0 then b plus a equal to 0 so b is equal to minus a now the complementary solution of equation number 2 becomes yc is equal to a into minus a to the power t yc means complementary solution of y c is used just as a symbol for complementary solution so the complementary solution of equation number 2 is yc is equal to a into minus a to the power Now we will have to find out the particular solution of the equation y t plus 1 plus a y t is equal to c this is the given equation and we will have to find out the particular solution of, of this given equation and uh, we assume that the solution of this given equation is k that means y t is equal to k where k is a constant if y t is equal to k then we can write y t plus 1 is equal to k since k is a constant so y t plus 1 will also be a constant so now uh, by putting the value of y t and y t plus 1 in the given equation that means uh, y t plus 1 plus a y t is equal to c we get k plus a k is equal to c by taking k common we get k into 1 plus a is equal to c that means k is equal to c divided by 1 plus a 
so the particular solution of this equation is yp is equal to c divided by 1 plus a but provided that the value of a is not equal to minus 1 because if the value of a is minus 1 then the solution will become undefined it will become infinity so this solution holds only if a is not equal to minus 1 uh, if a is equal to minus 1 then we will have to find out another particular solution of the equation so for that case we assume that yt is equal to kt as the trial solution and since yt is equal to kt then yt plus 1 is equal to k into t plus 1 uh, now substituting this in equation number 1 we get k into t plus 1 plus a k t is equal to c now taking k as common we get k whole into 1 plus t plus a t is equal to c so the value of k is c divided by 1 plus t plus a t hence the particular solution is c t divided by 1 plus t plus a t okay since we have got the complementary solution as well as the particular solution so uh, we are about to get the complete solution so the complete solution is the summation of complementary solution and particular solution now substituting the complementary solution and particular solution we get yt is equal to a into minus a to the power t plus c divided by 1 plus a if a is not equal to 1 but if a is equal to minus 1 then we have another solution that is yt is equal to a into minus a to the power t plus ct divided by 1 plus t plus a t now if we put the value of a as minus 1 right here then this t and t will get cancelled so finally the solution is a into minus a to the power t plus ct so we have found out two solutions of a standard difference equation one is when a is equal to minus 1 and another is when a is not equal to minus 1 now our task is to find out the value of a because a is an arbitrary constant that means which was assumed now when t is 0 equation 5 becomes equation 5 means the solution y0 is equal to a whole into minus a to the power 0 plus c divided by 1 plus a then we can write y0 is equal to a plus c divided by 1 plus a since this minus a to the power 0 is equal to 1 so a into 1 is equal to a and then we can write y0 is equal to minus c by 1 plus a is equal to a that means the value of a is equal to this now substituting the value of a in equation number 5 we get the solution as yt is equal to y0 minus c by 1 plus a into minus a to the power t plus c divided by 1 plus a this is when a is not equal to minus 1 since we have got two solutions so we will have to substitute the arbitrary constant for the second solution also to find out the arbitrary constant a in equation number 6 we again assume t equal to 0 so uh, from equation number 6 we get y0 is equal to a plus c into 0 thus we get the value of arbitrary constant a is equal to y0 now substituting it in equation number 6 we get the solution as yt is equal to y0 plus ct when a is equal to minus 1 so finally we get two solution one is this when a is not equal to minus 1 and another is this when a is equal to minus 1 this is how we can find out the solution of a standard first order difference equation and these two solutions will be used in solving the numerical problems in the next classes so i request you to go through into it and uh, hope you understand the detailed process of solving a standard difference equation by following the general method 
एंड थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो